What's up everyone, this is Hemorrhoid aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another Super Stream video. We're going to be doing another Abyss stage. I know it's hard to believe, we're just trying to make it through some of these Abyss stages so that we can uh, get our loot and be done with this video series for a little while. Uh, then I can move on to something else, make, maybe make you guys some more co-op videos, or I've got, um, I've kind of thought of a way that we might be able to do, to do some PvP videos, because I, I got a good response from my event PvP video, but I had someone asking me about regular PvP. Sometimes it can be difficult to make entertaining content with PvP and Super String, because a lot of times you end up going against bots and the fight's over in 10 seconds, or sometimes you go up against Koreans and the fight's over in 8 seconds because they kill you faster than you kill bots. But anyway, I may have come up with a way to try to put together some PvP videos. It might just take a little bit of time. But anyway, that's not what you're here for today. We are here for Abyss 38. This is kind of where Abyss transitions from you know, you, you can kind of get by with some teams that might not be perfect for the stage, but now, in, at 38, this is where you really have to have some specific units, or at least specific strategies, to help you overcome these additional threats. Let's read it together. It says, all agents will start the battle with a five turn cooldown on all skills except for the first skill. You read that correctly. All of your units are going to have a five turn cooldown on all of their skills. And the boss, which is one Miho, the boss will gain a turn immediately with all skill cooldown reset every time an enemy is defeated. So what what are one Miho's cooldowns what do we need to be aware of? Well, Juan Miho's ultimate is a simple AoE DPS attack. So Juan Miho is going to be trying to do some AoE DPS to our units, and um, also Juan Miho on skill 2 has an attack, defense, and heal buff combo. So already, you can probably imagine this stage can be a bit of a nightmare if you aren't careful. Now, I'm just going to... I'll just tell you right now, I'm going to go ahead and bring the team that I cleared this stage with last season. Because I am trying to kind of uh, pick up the pace just a little bit so that we can get through some of this content in time before we miss out on some of those rewards. So I'm going to go with my tried and true method, what I know works. Now, here's something about Hasty. Instead of... Uh, now, by the way, if you guys didn't know, on the agent screen, on under equipment, at the bottom of the screen, you can set up different presets for your units. So that when you're about to go into a fight, including, you know, PvP, Abyss, any kind of fight, if you look at the menu, you will see preset. And you can click your unit, and look under these uh, presets for gear and core. Now, I am actually going to change my hasty preset to my original full defensive setup for hasty. I'm also going to switch my core to her shield rather than her ion rifle because hasty hasty's job in this fight is to protect us. So I'm also going to give her a defensive fate tie. Try to keep her alive as long as possible. Uh, Kim Bong Chun, we want him to take down these tanks because if, if you're looking at the screen, we are going up against So Kwon and Kang Suki. That's a little bit of a nightmare. Those are two of the most annoying tanks in the game to go up against. But now, the good news is, So Kwon does not have his ignition bat. So at least we don't have to worry about his retaliation. Now, I'm going to go with defense on Wan Miho. I can go with hit points to try to increase uh, her heals just a little bit. But, I think we're going to do better just trying to keep her alive. That's going to be more important because Wan Miho's um, job for us here 
is to reduce our cooldowns and get our unit skills off cooldown as quickly as possible. And one of the reasons I love Hasty so much for this stage is because her passive, every time an enemy attacks her and hits her, um, she's going to reduce her skills, her, her cooldowns, by one turn. So our objective is to get her shield up on our team as quickly as possible to try to mitigate some of the incoming attacks that we are receiving. So let, let's jump in here. A, a, a little less talk, a lot more action. Let's jump in here and, you know, see what we can do. See if we can clear 38. And we should have an easier time clearing 38 with the new uh, Awakening Universe uh, universe buffs for our agents. We're starting with one Miho. Um, I, believe, I believe the first unit I took out last time is uh, So Quan. So let's immediately start laying into So Quan. Alright, we've already got him a little less than half health. Now, now that's going to prompt Kang Suki to heal him instead of taunting. So that's fine, but now So Quan's going to have his AoE attack since we hit him a few times. And we've taken a little bit of damage, and now here, Cornelia is going to really start to get on your nerves as she heals up these units that you are trying to do DPS on. As you see, Soquan is nearly almost at full health again. So we're kind of back at square one, doing some damage to Soquan. Now the good news is, Hasty is one turn away from having her skills off cooldown, and that's what we're looking for. Because we need to get our team shielded as quickly as possible, because they're laying into us. Abyss 38 the Abyss 38 definitely does not hold your hand. They're not going to have mercy on you. So let's see what happens here. Okay. Now we're taunted by Kang Suki. We're still on cooldown with Kim Bong Chun. But, good news is now, Hasty is ready to shield our units. And we can try to see if we can start taking them down. We are still on cooldown with Wan Sewell. Now they are attacking Hasty. Okay, we are off of cooldown with Wan Miho. I'm going to actually put an attack buff and a defense buff and a little bit of healing on Wan Sewell. Since uh, they've already, the enemy has already done a little more damage against him than I would have liked them to. I'm going to try the double stun uh, with Kim Bong Chun and see if we can get some good RNG with the double stun. We missed the stun. We, we got the stun on Wan Miho, which is good, I guess, since she's the boss, but, you know, I would have preferred someone else. Okay. I believe So Kwan is one of our biggest threats because I believe he does a little bit more damage and he's pro he may be targeting Wan Soul soon. And we are trying to keep Wan Soul alive as long as we can before he goes immortal because we get two free turns to try to wreak some havoc on the enemy team uh, once he is immortal. So we're trying to save that till the end. Here comes the heals. I hope you're ready for them. Because Kang Suki's gonna heal. Here comes Cornelia. AoE heal. You know, what can you do? It's time to get out the drum. That's enough playing around. We need to take these units down because they are not letting up. Okay, if you'll notice, our shields, look on the left hand side here, our shields are still up on all of our units. I could run, uh, there's no point in running Hasty's ultimate shield again. And now that the drone is out, I am going to lay in to Soquan as hard as I can to try to get him dead before Cornelia has an opportunity to heal him again. I am, let's see. Okay, let's look at our turn order. Kang Suki and Soquan are going next. But, Kim Bong Chun will take a turn before Cornelia. So I'm just trying to make sure Soquan is dead. I would really like to lay this heal on Wan Soul right now, but since Wan Soul's shield from Hasty is still up, and I don't think So Kwan or Kang Suki can, can, can take Wan Soul to zero hit points in just one hit right now, 
I'm going to go ahead and take out so far. We're just going to remove his ability to do any damage to us at all. Okay, Juan well, Miho is healing up Kangsuki. Um, I'm going to throw the freeze on Cornelia. I'm going to try to stall her ability to heal just a little bit longer. And I actually really liked the DPS that my drone did to Cornelia just now. So I think I'm going to switch my strategy up a little bit mid-fight. I think I'm going to start focusing on Cornelia for a moment, but now Hasty is actually almost dead. Normally I would reapply shield here, but I am a little concerned that Hasty is just going to die. I think she might survive one, one more turn. I'm going to shield one soul here. I'm going to take a bit of a gamble that Hasty, that I didn't just waste that turn and that Hasty can survive. Instead of going for Cornelia, since she is frozen, let's go back to Kansuki for a second. Now, now I can actually throw a heal on Hasty, um, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I went with that shield move, because I'm going to heal Hasty up a little bit. Now, hopefully we can kill Kansuki here. And we did, which of course we've got two turns of immortality to worry about now, but at least we've got it out of the way. Now we're running into a bit of a problem because Kangsuki has healed Cornelia, woke her up, now Cornelia is healing people, and we're kind of getting into a little bit of a mess. So as you guys can see, despite our best efforts, Abyss 38 is a little unforgiving. It is not abnormal to get down to the wire on Abyss 38 and have to win with this, you know, hit point meter ticking against you. That's not abnormal. This could very well be down to the wire. I want to shut down Cornelia because she keeps healing. But I also want the boss to take some damage too so that hopefully the boss dies before I do. Now that our hit points, everyone's hit points are basically ticking down at this point. And this is getting quite dangerous. So I'm going to try to throw a heal on Hasty to see if I can let her survive another turn or two. I hope I didn't just waste that. Now this is wonderful a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of one soul's savage damage. Uh, it's savage 2 damage does 35% of uh, an enemy's hit points in one hit. Plus the skill's, you know, original damage as well. Okay, who's going next? Our Wan Miho and Hasty are going next. Now I know it's my Wan Miho and not the enemy because there's no red outline around the portrait. If you guys didn't know that, the red outline around the portrait means it is the enemy unit, and no red outline means it's your unit. So what's our strategy here? We're trying to stay alive and let the enemy die before us. So I'm actually, I'm going to try to stun Cornelia. I could freeze for two turns instead of stunning for one turn. Okay, she resisted it anyway. But anyway, the reason I went with a one-turn stun instead of a two-turn freeze is um, damaging a unit will wake them up from frozen, but damaging a unit will not wake them up from stun. So that's something to think about. Okay, here comes another AoE heal from Cornelia. But, that's alright, we've got one soul ready to put some pain on the enemy. Down goes Hasty. This is down to the wire. Now, I do want to freeze Cornelia. Just for a moment. Um, my highest hit points character, normally you would think Maybe I should heal Kim Bong Chan or Wan Soul, but I'm trying to outlast the enemy at this point. So I'm going to heal my highest hit point character, who happens to be Wan Miho. I think that's going to be the best strategy right now. She could kind of be, you know, last woman standing, so to speak. Alright, down goes the enemy Cornelia. Wan Soul has just gone immortal. The good news is Wan Soul also resets his skills when he goes immortal. So, I believe we have this fight in the bag. You know, down to the wire, certainly a bit more than I would have liked. But, at least this is a first try clear, okay? Um, 
if it's your first time going up against stage 38 and, and you're not prepared for it, you may have to retry this stage several times to try to get some good RNG to uh, beat this stage. Very unforgiving, requires some very specific strategy. So anyway, um, there you have it, Abyss Stage 38. I'm glad we're finally getting caught up a little bit here and getting to some of the higher Abyss stages so that we can have uh, fun with some of these Abyss mechanics. I think I have one SS Agent ticket to open for you guys. So let's see what we get. Actually, before I do that, let me make sure... Now, here's a little trick for you guys. When you're about to open an SS Agent ticket, you may want to take a look at your SS units and make sure you have room for those units to, to have an awakening because if you were to pull an SS unit and they were like this close to, um, to recasting, you could have maybe spent 20, 40, 60 uh, uh, genes and, and recast them a little bit to make room for that awakening. Those SS units are rare enough to where you might want to double check that. So even even my SS units that I have not built yet, I'm looking at those. Like for example, here you go. Munsu. Um, let's see. Okay, I would have to spend a little over 400 genes to recast him right now. So I'm actually not going to do that. But if you wanted to build Munsu soon, you know, it would be tempting to do that. Let's look at the rest of my SS. Okay. Uh, Jayu is is Max Awakening right now at 4 stars, and Min Jungwoo is Max Awakening at 4 stars, but we still need a lot of souls to recast them to 5 stars, so I'm not really interested in doing that right now. Okay, so there you have it. So I'm not going to recast anyone, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of that, that if you're about to pull a lot of agent tickets, or SS agent tickets, or... If you're about to dump a lot of summoning tickets in, in the summon menu, you might want to just look over your SS agents and make sure, you know, you've got enough room for some of those to, to awaken. But, and, um, enough talking, let's just see who we get here. Okay! I don't mind that at all, that's great. That is great, because we need one high up for Abyss Stage 42. Uh, he is almost required for Abyss Stage 42, so now we have five out of six Awakenings. That actually makes me very happy that I couldn't have asked for a better agent than that. So, anyway, we are going to call it a day here at Deep Fryer Gaming. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again very soon. This is Hemroid. Out. Why are you wearing a bag of bags? Why are you wearing a bag of bags?